a lot of people were disturbed. We were very clever as a grow, very wise at school, passing, having good results. When you arrive at grade 11, when you arrive at grade 11, bring him. When you arrive at grade 11, bring him. When you arrive at grade 11, when you arrive at grade 11, let the Holy Spirit reveal them. When you arrived at grade 11. When you arrived at grade 11. Grade 11 became trouble. Now understand what God is leading us now. God will still take us through with the issue of the Holy Spirit. You is your encounter. At grade 11. Yes, Papa. It gave you stress. Yes. The encounter of a man. Yes. No? Yes. Huh? Yes, Papa. It destroyed your wisdom. Yes. Huh? Yes. And it's when I saw people now. They started rejecting me. You started? Hated me. Rejection, hatred. Blaming me. But you were clever. Yes. Mm. Even at school, they were like fighting me physically. Mm. Without reason. Mm. So grade 11, that's when all this started. Everything started. Mm. It's an encounter of relationship as well. No? Yes, even I couldn't speak English. Mm. It just fade away. Everything just left. Yes, Papa. But God loves you. Just say, Lord, forgive me, and that's it. Oh, that's how beautiful God is. My Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey. What? Hey. What? Hey. What? I give it to one hour. I carry it to one batang. Or I'm a fat one. Hold. Hold. How about you? I can't get over. I carry heavy load. But I'm not too old. What about me? I'm too old. How about you? 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 Who, who is having all these spiritual blessings? Who is of all these blessings? Who is it? Who's got all these gifts? The Holy? The Holy Spirit. Why, 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 why? Hey, listen, why do you like say, I give people jobs, I give people marriages, I give... It's God who gives them. Hey! Now, now. Let's thank God for the foundation. Let's thank God for the foundation. And now the child is working. Huh? The child has got a job. Let's thank God for the foundation. Let's thank God for the foundation. Now the child has got a job. Now, you see now. So, don't say me. It's the Holy Spirit who does all these things. Huh? Hi. Why, why are you people coming Hi. to fight me? <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit. Why people blame me for everything? Huh? Papa, how we learn now? Maybe get the money. Maybe can get oh, what's up? Today the Holy Spirit. Today the Holy Spirit spoke. Hey. Today the Holy Spirit spoke to her. Hey, hi, hi, little one. She will no longer blame herself. Huh? 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 Disappears. Why? Uh -uh. She's God's candidate. She's God's candidate. This is the day that the Lord has made for every one of you.
nerile ba fisa kwa abo ba molai ba muthunze you know one no hese se ba muthunze fela a ku wena o ba bontsa kolo ela e bona e fita e fita wa ima mo pela ha le so mara wa ngwana sentsa a so o man we appear anywhere at any time everything le se o we appear anywhere at any time ai ai le se o so it's the holy spirit That's why I'm saying even when I appear wherever it's God who takes me and say do this do this do this Today everything comes back Everything good come from you Father of lights You're finished You're finished we bring back the mind that Jesus gave her It's over. Because We lay our lives. Our Father in heaven is a Father. Father, we adore. Holy Spirit. God the Father the Spirit is a father. Huh? Yes, that's what I'm so. No, I'm here to confirm what God is doing. God the Father God give a God God go go go. I'm here. I'm here to Holy Spirit speak. We are do We lay, we lay our lives before you, O oh my Lord. How much we love you, Jesus. Touch, touch, 
Touch Holy Spirit. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch, touch, touch. So good. How are you feeling now? How are you feeling? Thank you, Father. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. I'm free, Papa. Huh? Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Just take this. I want you to open your mouth and just take it. How are you feeling now? Check in your mind. How are you feeling? I'm free, Papa. You see, yesterday I had an encounter. The, fa the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit. Oh! The Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit. Before you speak, just take. Before you speak, take. Because I'm here to confirm your story. I'm here to confirm your, your story. I'm here to speak in your life. For Jesus to bring to pass what he has promised you. You can stand up. This has to come to pass. It has to come to pass. We're not going to be religious and say we're waiting for 50 days. No. Just like the days of Pentecost. Not waiting, just like... That continues. If you were empty and dry without the Holy Spirit, just like the days of Pentecost, you'll receive. Uh-huh. You can speak. Thank you, Papa, because yesterday I was crying in my room saying, Papa doesn't even speak a word in my life, but I remember you came to me and appeared and said that God has given you everything. But like, because the way the surroundings are treating me, they are treating me like wrong connection and demons, they are hating me. So sometimes, Papa, when I'm, I get sick, I feel like dying. And that is why the other day, when you woke me up, when I was, I was dead, and I, I asked you, Papa, why did you raise me up? You said you're still fruitful in that body. 
<laughs> because I wanted to go. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. God Thank loves you. you. God Thank is you for you. loving me. God loves you. You know, everyone does say, if we have an appointment with God, don't say, God, I want you this. No, no. Give him his flow. Give him his. Give the Lord his. Give the Lord his. His flow. Let him move as he wills. That's what I'm saying. There's no one here who's ugly. Now you believe now. You believe now. Now you believe. Now you, you believe. Value the Holy Spirit. To me, if you would need to understand the Holy Spirit, to me, I make, me, make him your love. Make, before you can love anybody, I love the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, he will reveal to you who's supposed to be with you, where you should go, where you, he brings everything. You know, he has your cars, he has your houses. God loves you. And now... Thank you, Papa. Even my voice came back because, like, after Rizomo staging, mm. but I remembered what you said to me. I should declare the Spirit of the Lord mm. is upon me, so I was just speaking. Mm. Yeah, understand this. That's why I'm saying, look, a person from Nurse Parade, just to first start with him, did God, how did God know this? I'm also surprised. How did God know this? Now, you think you're facing the same rejection. The same rejection. Oh, yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. But, and then I'm, huh? I'm, sometimes I'm afraid to go outside. I will lock myself in the room, mm. not seeing anyone. Because, like, you'll greet a person and then they will just look at you or they will no, act. Learn, learn God from here. Ne? If you see yourself being provided with food, free food, your child getting a job. Learn to know that God has started the work. Thank you, Papa. And Thank he, you. he is faithful to finish it. He's faithful to do what? Never be at the point where you think God is unfaithful. No. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Thank you, Papa. You never think God is unfaithful. Thank you. Papa. He loves you. Thank you. And that's why He delivers you. That's why He comes full force to say, Hey, I'm here. Thank you. God loves you. Thank you. Go give your testimony. Ne? Go give your testimony. God is with you. Blessed Fuse, we're in Ramani Center Ministries. With me here is our mother who was ministered unto by the man of God, Professor Sir Daniel, when he gave a prophecy about people whom their intelligence has been tempered with ever since grade 11. Our mother was ministered unto as she manifested, and we are to hear from her as to exactly what happened and how was she affected. Could you please tell us your name and where you're coming from? My name is Catherine. Mary Catherine. I'm from Prats. As concerning the prophecy of the intelligence being taken away from you from grade 11, could you please tell us what happened and how were you affected in your life? I can't tell what happened because I, I was just asking myself because I know I'm a clever girl. I was in top three since sub A because by the time grade A was sub A. So in grade 11, we exchange um, subject because in standard five, when I remember, I was doing accounting, but I had the desire of being, of doing a medicine, being a doctor, or doing nursing. And then I remember I changed the subject, and I went to other other class, and when I started there your things were falling down. I couldn't understand. I passed, but I don't know how. But in grade 12, I failed. And the major, physics, 
I failed maths, and I know that I knew this, this subject, but I failed. But when Papa prophesied today, I, I went back and I remembered everything, because even my father mentioned that there was a man. Yes, I had a relationship in grade 11, and I remembered very well. And Papa said that that was an, also an impact in my life. That is why, like, my wisdom or the intelligence were taken off from me. Because I couldn't even, like, speak English. I was fluently, but, like, since grade 11, everything just went down. I couldn't speak. I was, everything just fell down. And were you able to rewrite your matrix? Yes, I, I tried, but I couldn't pass. Then I went to the college. I did N1, I passed with distinctions. N2, I passed with distinctions. And when I did N3, because I was doing electrical engineering, heavy and light current. But in N3, I struggled. I struggled a lot because I had the information that when you have failed your metric, you can combine your N3 certificate and the subject that you have passed in grade 12. But I managed, I don't know how, but I couldn't pass. It was like my daughter's course. Um, then I, I managed to have a, the, the, the certificate for, for grade 12. But then they were called it Imalusi, then I called it. Uh, okay, I still call Imalusi. There's, there's uh, NFC, there's CAT. So currently I think it's CAT because previous to this National Senior Certificate, right now it's CAT. So, like, considering the relationship with your mother, how was it? It was very bad. Very bad in a way, like, I was not the favorite one. She favored my, my younger brother. I was blamed. I was, I was abused even physically. He beats me and like, she beat me even today, but tomorrow like, she wanted me to go to school like, even though like, I have blue eyes and swollen like, yeah. So she'll beat you until you get to those bruises. Yeah, she was using anything like, Relationship wasn't good, and like I told Papa, since in grade 11, I will be blamed, I will be hated, I will be rejected, you know, and everything like changed, changed. Even now, it's still like that. Like I even told Papa, like, I will lock myself in the room, not even want to see anyone, um, because like you greet a person, and then he, will, she will, he or she will like, react funny and then like you, you start asking yourself what is happening and then like I got sick and I died so many times and the last time I remember when Papa raised me up I asked Papa Papa why did you raise me up why you didn't leave me because I want to die because like the way like my life is so miserable there is no one, like, no support. It's only you and few disciples and few um, brothers and sisters. So Papa assured me that, you know what, Mary Catherine, you are still fruitful in the body. And even yesterday, I had an encounter whereby I was attacked spiritually. I even told my father when he was delivering me, um, I saw I was in a place whereby I didn't know that place. But when I look at the back, I saw there was this lady, and that lady, she was so attacked with spirits. And then immediately, on a twinkle of an eye, those spirits came to me. And I hear Papa's voice saying, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And I start speaking those words. And then those demons, they just fade away. And immediately I appeared in, the, in that area. I don't know that area. I saw beautiful Mazda cars 
they were they are green in color, but inside it, uh, that, that cast, I saw there were three people each. And then when I, it was my turn to get in the car, then there was a fight. The other driver was saying, no, we are not permitted to get inside. She, he fought, but I heard the other driver was saying, hey, you, you are fighting here. I don't know what's wrong with you. Lady, get inside. And I get inside and I saw myself crying because even myself in my room, I was crying. I said, Mar Papa, you don't see me. You don't speak a word to me. I don't know. But something came in my mind and said that your father has spoken to you in this appearance because I also remember that Francis, that saying, Papa was saying to me, God has already given you everything. And I saw the greatness of God because even my daughter got a job after those words. And Papa said that today was declaring that everything God has been given to you. So stop saying, seeing God that is unfaithful to your life. So I really thank God. And as concerning the relationship with your mother, said like there was anger yes. and all those things, like what have you learned from everything that you can see that now you are going under deliverance? And Papa said there are some people they were supposed to be successful in their lives. As you said that you're someone who switched from accounting to science, which really shows that you're intelligent. Yes. So what what is your word of encouragement to other people, especially the upcoming generation? What is it that you can teach them from what you have learned? Yeah. Wait upon the Lord. It, what I will say, remain. Don't go. Remain in the wait until your fixed state. That's my word. And you see the greatness of the Lord. And those things, consider them. Consider them. Consider them as trials. Because even Papa touched me when, like, he was teaching about James. I even watched that movie and see how James, he suffered. And I got the encourage yesterday night that James was suffering, but he remained, he remained. He was following Jesus. I even saw in the movie of Jesus. He was following G Jesus. He never gave up. So don't give up. Wait upon the Lord until you fix it. And remain and be in the way and meditate. God knows our heart as he has hurt me yesterday. And every day when I'm, I was crying, he will also hear you cry and answer you. And as a mother, you said that you have children. So you've, you've experienced that criticism and discrimination yes. from your mother's side. But you as a mother right now, what would you say to other mothers out there in raising their children? Um, firstly, I would say I was a bad mother. I was a bad mother because the way my mother raised me, I also raised my kids. And when Papa started, um, I remember one day you see, he was teaching, it was a woman's day. He said, compete with your mother and take what is good. It's when I started to, my eyes to be opened. And the other thing, I went to the mountain and it's when Papa teaches me about my kids because I didn't know my children spiritually. And I cried that day, and I went home. I said, Papa, I want to go home and apologize to my kids. And since that day, I, I saw myself changing, changing, and I, I told them that our relationship must start, must start uh, in the foundation of, of, of God, whereby there's no secrets, whereby we speak everything, and we share everything. And where God wants me to raise me, to raise them the way he wants, I will, I will do that. And I will see myself like when I'm, I'm at home, when I go home and visit because I'm living in farm, um, I will see changes and they will see changes because I was so strict and I was shouting a lot because I had a lot of anger and short-tempered, and 
I didn't give them a chance as children to, you know, to learn from them. And since Papa taught me at the mountain while I was praying, and I saw the beauty in my children, and I started like, I hate the other thing. I, I didn't know how to love. I didn't know how to love. Even everyone, everyone since in grade 11, I didn't know how to love. Um, I hated like, I, I, I have that, that anger, but I thank our father, Professor Liseo, for, for allowing God to change my character. Then I, I saw um, everything changes. Then I will encourage parents, um, listen to your, your children. Your children, they are teachers of, of parents' life. Um, children, they, their character, they are so beautiful. They will humble you as a, as a parent. Um, don't, don't use religion. Don't use the way they raise you. Use the way God changes you, the way God leads you, the way God directs you. You see, you enjoy um, the fruit of God upon you and, and your children. You see things, things that you, 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 you were un, uh, unable to do. You, you see them, you know, flowing. This is how I see, I saw myself. Because like me, I, I couldn't do it. But through the spirit of our father, I, I will see myself each and every day. Even to my mom, it wasn't easy to forgive her. But when I went home, I will see changes. I will see it. I will uh, teach my children to, to, you know, to persevere, to not... And the thing that I would like to tell parents, when we have a problem in the house with your parents, with whoever, don't involve your children. Because that thing, it causes distraction. It gives our children a bad seat to see people the way a parent is seeing. So I will encourage you. You rather keep quiet and let the Holy Spirit teach your children in every situation that you are going through. Children, they see what you are struggling or what you are suffering. You don't have to tell children, but God will open their ears and eyes to see. And you see them, how they will treat you. And this is how I saw the greatness of God. He really blessed me with two children. It's a boy and a girl. They are teenagers now. And they love me, they carry me, they don't judge me. They, they you know, we are enjoying our, our relationship now in God. We are no longer looking at the past, even though there are things that are struggling. Because even now, during intercession, Papa was teaching me about, about um, you know, everything that we see is a prayer. Everything that we see and hear, it's a prayer. Whereby, even it's a challenge or it's bad or it's good, don't look at it. It's a prayer. God knows about it. When I, you, you just, you know, face, fix your eyes unto God. But I didn't know that it was my fixed date today. I really, I really thank God. So parents, please, please be led by the Spirit. Be led. The youth head reviews from Rawani Center Ministries as our mother here had just given us a full mouth of parenthood and the challenges that parents would face that you should not raise your children according to how you were raised. Yes. Because the very same pain that you felt is the very same pain that you inflict on them. Yes. And the very same anger that you have, it means your sin is a transformation. Yes. Of which there is not what God desires for yes. us. He has destined us for good and better for me. So we heard it from Bounty Center Ministries, from our father, Professor Zohodanya, and us, it is to God be the glory.